Hi, good morning. This is Jack. I have a new coil that I wound. It's called a Daisy uh, from Scott Nelson's idea, Nelson uh, Daisy 7, somewhat based upon it's a, the uh, prime number sieve or something, and so it has um, 14 points. This is, um, here we'll power it up in a minute, but we have, um, let's describe a little bit about the coil. It's uh, 7 or 14 turns, 28 turns total of number 22 wire. So it has some of the, exhibits some of the properties of uh, things. We have the, let's power it up here. Get the ball spinning, if possible. Okay, so, so there the ball is spinning. We have uh, uh, the capacitor charging up the light bulb. And uh, you can see it varies. There's, there's the charge on the capacitors, 44 or 58. I'll move back here so you can see the whole shebang, the um, light and the um, variation in the speed of the ball, the variation in the um, charging function. It's uh, a lot of variables there. It's at a 51, 54 volts. I've seen it go to 60 volts. Um, continuous charge on the light and the capacitor. the LED for the circuit board and then of course if I um, take the power off they exhibit some of that um, resonance you can see. I know the uh, power light stays on. The power goes 4.4, 4.3, it gradually goes down in cycles as you can see. And the power light stays on for a considerable period of time. So then we'll give it some juice again here. And speed back up. It's about 1.8 ohms uh, per wind, so about 3 ohms, 3.5 ohms of resistance. Well, over here on the upper right is my a 9x9 that I'm working on uh, with Randy Powell, and uh, I haven't started winding yet. Uh, we'll get pretty soon. Okay, well, I think I'll, uh, that's all for now. I didn't want to make this too long, and uh, I want to show you the uh, uh, some of the characteristics of my new coil. Thanks.